okay this right here is multiplied by the state vectors these ones are uh, in this case p sub 2 and q sub 3 those two and then we'll put for the for the inputs this is se1 in here so let's fill it in this one you see this term here that is going to be minus r sub 4 over i sub 2 that's this term right there this one is minus 1 over c yeah and this se1 here is 1 and then on the other one we don't have q we only have p so this is 1 over i sub 2 yeah and this is 0 okay and then this one here is also 0 so what MATLAB um, the way MATLAB likes this equation um, equations I should say let me change to red again the general format is like this x dot is equal to this matrix which calls it A times this state vector like this plus this matrix B times the vector of inputs which we call it U I'm going to give it some names okay um, let's change colors again put the green ones which is softer for the eyes right here and we're going to call it vector of derivatives uh huh. Derivatives. This this one is called the system matrix. Matrix. All right. This is called the state vector. This this one doesn't have particular name, but this is the vector of inputs. inputs okay I am leading you intentionally in this direction because uh, when you get to ME 172 this is the form all the equations that you'll see probably from the first week of class so it is my uh, duty to prepare you to uh, use this form which has also a a very special name this is called the state variable form okay so with a simple example I would like to review what I just said because I don't want to go any, go any farther I think it's, it's very important that you understand the very basic concepts here here's what I did I went to a very simple example like this and I began writing the equations individually see E1 F1 E2 F2 and then of course this was an integral form so it had a differential equation then I derived them all that way we ended up with two of those what I did next is I um, I have this uh, dp sub 2 dt and did the substitutions I ended up with two equations that are called the Cauchy form then I took one step further without doing anything <coughs> that have to do with bone graphs at all just took these equations and put them into an, another for nice format called the state variable form and that is the important concept that I would like you to get it of the lecture today so we're going to um, we're going to stop now <laughs>